Does age matter to women? This is for us. I'm thinking about it. Well, there's four of you here. You might as well start speaking. Yeah, Ladies like, first. Actually, like... Who wants to go who's first? The who's the youngest in the group? Let's start Not there. Me. I feel like age doesn't matter once you hit a certain age. Like, I would date someone who's, like, three years younger than me if he has the maturity and... You always date guys who are younger than yeah, you. Yeah, I like young I've always... Like, not my choice, but it's I've always met younger guys, and they're very mature for their ages. So, and older, I've dated, actually, the only one older guy that I've dated was, like, four years older than me, and he was the most immature out of all the young guys that I've talked to, which was mind-blowing, because you would think an older guy really has, like, his crap together and, like, really knows how to treat a woman, but it was the opposite of that. And all the little ones, the younger ones... They knew exactly what to do and how to treat me and talk to me. So I say it's really how people grow up, their life experiences, and it shouldn't matter. You know, you shouldn't judge someone off just because they're so much younger or older. I think it's also, it's the maturity is one big thing because that's what also happened to me. Uh, I ha um, One of my ex-boyfriends is three years older than me, and I felt like there was a lot of work he had to do for himself. Um... And I, I also think it has to do, well, bes besides the maturity aspect of it, also the type of person they are, if that makes any sense. Because you could be immature and there could be other stuff that could turn off a woman, despite age yeah. as well. Like I said, I'm used to hearing things like, you're not the type of guy I would normally date. And I've always, especially as I get older, the women I dated tend to stay typically 25 35 for whatever reason it's kind of the sweet spot especially like 27 28 i just think it's because as women get you know older into their 20s they start thinking about who's the kind of guy i could settle down with or have a family with that has got his act together and that's why most of the time they start looking towards older more mature guys is because they recognize that most of the time guys are their age or especially younger just too mature and they don't have their act together so in my personal experience it didn't matter I, one of my girlfriends used to, won the miss figure competition she was in incredible shape and she always dated these big really super muscular dudes and i'm just kind of like leaning mean like steve mcqueen just like an average type of dude and but at the end of the day she still dated me and she still was in love with me so it's it really matters how you carry yourself in person and how you feel how you view yourself because people, and yourself for that matter, are going to treat you the way you view yourself to be. And it doesn't matter whether the view is accurate or not. If you think you're amazing, you'll see yourself as that way and you'll interact with other people and they'll agree with you. If you think you're a steaming pile of dog dung, dung then you'll behave that way and people will treat you that way as well. Um, I don't think... That age is <clears throat> as big of a deal um, as you get older. But I think as women are in their, under their 30s or in their 30s or so, um, I think that they do tend to date older men. But as women get older, like in their 60s and whatnot, and they younger. will absolutely date the That guy men. you met online, wasn't he younger than you? Yeah, like 13, 14 years younger That's than great. Me. I'm all for it. I only matched. So full I'm all for it for you. Everybody I was matching with was so much younger than get me. It. But it was just because <laughs> I'm like it. younger at heart. I Like I tried to match exactly. with older guys too, but like. We had nothing in no, common. Yeah, exactly. The algorithm knows yeah, what it's doing. Trust yeah. me. The algorithms are The right. only guy that I actually match with and talk to that was older than me was really cool. He's like an actor, socialite from another country, like famous. Like he was like really interesting, cool for his age, mm -hmm. and like beautiful. But like most of the people that were my age, um, we had nothing in common. I mean, I'm, and I'm just using dating apps as an example. Like, it's not like I'm a super out there in the dating world gal. It's Fine. not me, but um, 
I've dated guys that were younger than me and older than me. Like Caroline was saying, some of the older ones were more immature than the younger ones. Mm -hmm. Like, it depends on the person. So don't get caught up in the number, you know. Date somebody because you enjoy hanging out with them and just really don't worry about the number. I think it matters most if you're at an age, guys and girls, in the 25 to 35 age range, it's kind of important, like, who do you want to start a family with? Are they mature enough? You know, are, are they in a place to have a baby and raise a baby with? Outside of that, I think that's the only thing that matters with age. Similar goals, similar values. They're going to stick around. Mm -hmm. They're stable financially. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely people who think it does matter, but that's everyone's different. Everyone's obviously. different, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Also, like, a guy who grew up with a strong female, like, mom thing that likes mature women, was always around her and her girlfriends, it might be attracted to older women. And, and a strong dad. Yes. Strong and then figure. a guy who grew up with a single dad and all brothers who's not comfortable about around being around women might go for younger women because they feel, like, safer and more comfortable with younger just depends on the person, you know? Well, older guys dating younger women is because they want to have kids, ideally. Right. But it's, you know, the older you get, it, it also is harder to meet younger women you connect with. Just because there are different places in life. But some women are very smart that are younger and have a high IQ and they're a lot of fun to be around. So you got to meet somebody that mentally you're on the same level. Because at some point as you, you get older and you age together... Looks are gonna fade. You gotta really have, uh, you know, a relationship where you enjoy each other's company. Common bond. Yeah. In some area. You yeah. genuinely like listening to them, how their mind works, their idiosyncrasies. You enjoy, you know, you encourage their goals, their dreams, the things they want, and and vice versa. Yeah, like, um, say, like a really hot older dude, like maybe boomer age, like. Super executive guy, single bachelor, hot older guy can pull, you know, a 25 year old young, cute girl. But like, we're talking about a span of, you know, two, three different age groups. Like, a boomer is like so far removed from somebody who's like a Gen Z or like they have different interests, lifestyles world views so it depends on is this an artistic person like wh where do they meet is it religion is it the arts is it philosophy is it just sex you know is that enough everybody's different but I would say that dating somebody that's a little too much like I I like dating my boyfriend because we're in the same like kind of er from the same era and also from the same town hometown in another state. So we have the, the very similar growing up and the, we went to the same high school and know the same people and that's cool. We listen to the same music so we can bounce that off. Like he, we can read each other and stuff. But then like I think about if I was dating somebody who was say 15, 20 years younger than me, they could be really intelligent and bright and like get it. But like they weren't around when like Things in my life were, like, happening. They have no understanding of the events that happened in my lifetime. So there is a, 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 you know, like, a chasm of world events that happen that you're still, like, on different planes of awareness. Or life experience. Yeah, yeah. And if that's fine with you and you don't mind, then fine. But, like, I'm an intellectual person. I like to go at my, – my perfect night, my perfect date night is literally sitting and talking till 2 about philosophy and all kinds of spiritual stuff and getting lost in conspiracy theories and storytelling. But if it's a person that likes to go out to the club and, like, be cool and drive in a cool car and, you know, drip and stuff, like, I, I'm not going to – And their drip – I'm not going to, like, be on the same level. And, like, some younger people are more into that. You know, young people like all of the facey stuff. And older people kind of like to talk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm with you. It really matters with, with the girl. If you're, you know, if you're going to date younger women, it's you, you got to be with somebody that you like conversing with. And she's interesting to listen to. 
Yeah, and there's a lot of old souls that are really young too. So there's not a blanket statement you can say you, that guy, whoever wrote that question. I d really realistically, you're going to connect with few. You know, if you're an older guy, you're going to connect with fewer the younger yeah. age women just because they're not all of them are focused on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, if, if if the word like is you know appears every ten words, <laughs> you're going to get annoyed. Yeah. But it's somebody that can carry a conversation, that's smart, that studies, that likes to learn, did well in school, high IQ, she'll be fascinating to listen to. And we'll be excited to listen to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really important. Somebody that really wants to hear what you have to say. Yeah, any age. You're enriching each other in your relationship. That's key.